C++ do while loop. So unlike for and while loops which test the loop condition at the top of the loop, the do while loop checks its condition at the bottom of the loop. So that is the main difference. In case of for, in case of while, we check the condition at the start. So if the condition is false, then the body will not get executed, the loop body will not get executed. But in case of do while, you are checking the condition at the bottom. A do while loop is similar to a while loop except that a do while loop is guaranteed to execute at least one time. So that is the main difference between while and do while loop. So here is the respective syntax for us. So do curly brace and then we will be having the statements to be written and after the curly, curly brace that is the end of the block we are going to write the respective while statement along with the condition within first brackets and sem semicolon will be there at the end. So that is the syntax of a do while loop. So here is one flowchart. So here the do while will be there and then at first the statements will be executed then the condition will be checked. If the condition is false then the control will come out and exit from this do while body. Otherwise if the condition is true then again the statements are getting executed. The required the sample code has been written side by side for your understanding. So now let us go for one sample program. Here we have written int a is equal to 10. So do we are printing this value of a and each and every time we are increasing the value of a by 1. So at first 10 will be printed then it will become 11 and if the current value of a is less than 20 then while condition will be true and loop will go on executing for multiple number of times. When the value of a will be 20 then 20 is less than 20 this condition will become false so it will come out from the loop and return 0 will have the successful termination of the program. So here is the respective output for us because when the value of a will become 19 then a is equal to a plus 1 will make that one 20 then 20 less than 20 the condition will be false so it will come out from the loop. So that is why we could, we could print for a is equal to 10 to 19. In this way this respective program we have explained here. So I think now the conception of do while loop is clear to you. Thanks for watching this.